On December 17th, Lyndon LaRouche held a half-hour press conference at the European Parliament headquarters in Strasbourg, France, to discuss the solutions to the worsening breakdown crisis of the international monetary financial system, which he forecasted over one year ago. Lyndon LaRouche's influence on leading governments on the planet is radiating at a crucial time, as now, in the days and weeks ahead, decisions are being made that will shape the future of coming generations. This press conference at the European Parliament falls on the heels of Lyndon LaRouche's recent trip to India, where he held meetings with leaders in defense and government on the prospect of cooperation between the four powers, the U.S., Russia, China, and India. He also addressed the role of London-sponsored terrorism in breaking those nations apart, a point which a number of regional leaders and even media sources are now repeating. LaRouche was accompanied at the podium in Strasbourg by his wife and leader of the International Schiller Institute, Helga Zepp LaRouche, also EIR's Claudio Cellani, and European Parliament members Cristiana Muscardini, Mario Bohesio, Donato Speroni, and Erminio Bolso. The audience included approximately 30 international journalists and other members of the European Parliament. In his opening remarks, LaRouche stated the following actions to be taken immediately by the incoming U.S. administration in cooperation with other nations in order to overturn the failed post-1971 through 72 financial system. What I'm proposing, essentially, is that we use the United States Constitution with its provision for a credit system by through treaty agreements with other nations to create a fixed exchange rate credit system. The purpose is largely to generate credit which can then be used internationally for building up long-term investments in the world economy. This means taking much of the financial derivatives which could never be paid anyway. There's no possibility of satisfying the commands, demands of this financial system presently. There's not that amount of money in, will ever be, exist in the world to pay off quadrillions of dollars of debt, which is largely fraudulent debt. And therefore, we have to wipe this aspect of the uh, debt of the world off the books and go back to a credit system which is based on the idea of the nation state as opposed to what we're getting now in terms of a new funny international system, monetary system. Go back to the nation state and take uh, long-term commitments in terms of quarter century, half century, a full century, depending upon the category. Following Lyndon LaRouche's opening remarks, questions were raised during and after the event by correspondents of AP Biscom, El País, and a handful of Italian media sources, such as Coriela de la Sera. These and other sources continue to place media coverage of the December 17th event. In response to the reporter's questions, LaRouche discussed the superiority of the constitutional system of the United States over the European system for dealing with the ongoing disintegration of the financial system. Reporters also sought further comments on why LaRouche said that cutting the interest rates to nearly 0% was an insanity. LaRouche firmly stated that the Fed's recent move is pure nonsense and we need a two-tier system with an open market rate of 4% and a 1.5 to 2% rate for special government credit. The final question raised was by a member of the European Parliament on financial speculation. LaRouche pointed to mega speculator George Soros, who he referred to as the biggest dope pusher on the planet. Heavy emphasis was placed on Soros as the major drug pusher for Asia, for Europe, and the Americas, and the fact that his ongoing methods of finance and gangsterism were inspired in his adolescent years during his involvement with the Nazis, years which Soros describes as the happiest of his life. LaRouche went on to further elaborate that failing to treat his activities as a crime has opened the door to most of the evils of the world today, and that allowing Soros' influence over drug trafficking to persist threatens the sovereignty of nations. Following the press conference, various leading Italian newspapers picked up the story as well as other international press. Coriela de la Sera repeated LaRouche's crucial point that the current world monetary system is hopelessly bankrupt and to deal with the crisis requires nation states. 
that we require a return to a system of fixed exchange rates and major public investments in infrastructure in Asia, Russia, Europe, Africa, and the United States. LaRouche's widely circulated statements are having an added impact due to the complete bankruptcy of the world monetary financial system and the realization by some international figures that the U.S. dollar could blow out before the presidential inauguration in January. Stay tuned as LPAC will be reporting the leading developments that must be known if civilization is going to survive.